नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन एज आई वॉज स्पीकिंग अबाउट द यूनिवर्स मल्टाइवर्स एंड एंड द यूनिवर्सल कॉस्मिक साउंड और द कॉस्मिक क्रिएटिव वाइब्रेशंस फ्रॉम द बिंदु काल नाद एस्पेक्ट I, me, and myself. It's, it's like uh, I would really say it, uh, the creativity aspect of the uh, very director and actor Rishabh Shetty, film Kantara. i can see that he has used the very concept of uh, the cosmic universal cosmic vibrations in the uh, macrocosmos effect or the microcosmos effect at that level the point is ladies and gentlemen film kantara is not only about that uh, a very folklore of bhuta kolla or panjurli as such but understand this it's a very documentary or the study of shastras at a very deeper concept even while doing this video goosebumps are coming for your information goosebumps that's the effect of kantara the point is most of us think our traditions died out but thanks to rishab shetty sir for his great work of kantara he actually like tried to show whole of the shastra in the form of enactment there is something called uh, the yakshakana he applied some bit of it and he applied some bit of uh, vedic and upanishads concept some bit of matrakanyasas absolute beauty it's an absolute beauty of you know lyrics if i really look at avaraha roopam daiva varishtam varaha roopam daiva varishtam varasmita vadanam vajradanta dhara vajradanta dhara रक्षा कवच शिवसंभूत शिवसंभूत भुवि संजात भुवि संजात नंबीदव गिंबु कुड़व वनित सारिव दैवद मन संप्रीत बेदुत मिंदु आरा आरा घिशुत आ सी सच ए ब्यूटिफुल लिरीक्स इफ ऐ रियली लुक एट the one beauty of it is 
he has used akara akara ukara akara makara aiva aiva akara plus ikara aiva kara aiva shakara ta ta shav ta word varas vara varas ma ma makara mita now if you really see he has used shiva sambhuta bhuvi samjata why he had to use that shiva sambhuta bhuvi samjata over here if you understand he is talking about srishti laya and jati and the gati aspect see the, the beauty of the song lies in he has used mana sampreeta sam plus preeta sam over here means sama equilibrium state mana mana over here means chitta now these lines if i really look at one can really get the brief gist of what exactly this sanskrit language can give one needs to relish this one needs to understand and that's the reason why i keep on telling bijakshara sir the key for sanskrit language and that is one reason why i would say kantara film kantara the climax song or the last 20 minutes is the documentary part for understanding the shastra subject or the natya shastra subject thanks again to rushab shetty sir for showcasing that effect of sanskrit sound how exactly it imbibes into the chit i am not talking about chitta again and it gets to the it's and it directly gets to the chida state chidatma state now this has various fronts this song if i really look at this song one is from the sanskrit language front wherein it has used all the possible bijaksharas akara 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 u u ukara u kara makara takara and hakara and if i really look at the two lines two significant lines shiva sambhuta bhuvi samjata these two are the catchy lines of this song this is the beauty of kantaras you know a climax song if i really look at and if i really look at the last song papa maga papa two parts magarisa pagarisa and at one point he has used the highest note point of ma which is again directly taking us to the point of you know at the point where this sound gets into the deeper roots of your nadis or nada it touches that nada it touches that bindu point which one needs to understand da da ga ma pa da ni da pa ni sa 
sunny dark again so all in all if i really look at this uh, film kantara's last 20 minutes climax which has been talk of the world actually talk of the galaxy as a whole if i really look at the subject or the uh, 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 the objective of that song over here he starts with avarah roopam avarah roopam varah roopam again over here varaha over here he is actually like touched upon the form part of it at firstly and then took to the formless part and then merged both of them when he merged both of them that confluence that oneness he showed that in this song ladies and gentlemen try to understand this here to this song you will understand the very core concept of shabda brahman and that shabda variation as a whole it's a very conceptual song if we can really look at raksha kavacham again raksha kavacham kavacha when do you really use it raksha again again vajra danta dhara vajra danta dhara understand this ladies and gentlemen daiva varishtam daiva varishtam daiva varishtam is somewhere wherein you talk about that godliness or godly nature or that uh, a spirituality kind of thing that comes into picture i don't know who this lyricist is but he has used this sanskrit words played with sanskrit words with such a beauty to give that clear clear give that clear form or the clear understanding of what really one should focus upon as an individual forget about that bhuta kolla ritual let's keep that aside for some moment of time let's try understanding panjurli over here what really this nature is all about and this is where the prakriti's aspect comes into picture and this and very interestingly he had showed that prakriti and purusha's aspect in this song as well i don't know for what purpose i don't know how people look at that song but for me it is the direct definition or the direct deciphering of what exactly prakriti and purusha should be represented all about at the same time our cultural art forms do have that tenacity and do have that audacity to show that absolute truth which cannot be shown thanks again to rishabh shetty sir for doing this masterpiece last 20 minutes climax not everyone would be able to understand this is for the scholars to really look at it from the deep delving concept deep delving concept ladies and gentlemen understand this film kantara is not only about that bhuta kolla tradition film kantara has to be watched 
from this angle too and rishabh shetty sir has shown this beautiful subject which we have forgotten as an individual which we have forgotten as an individual as a responsible citizens ha- as the human existence is there as i told again the song is the very base level study of the sanskrit language reference point as well from the bijaksharas point as well the bijaksharas that are used in the song are akara akara ukara akara makara hakara rakara and most importantly manas sampreet he has used that chitta again over there so ladies and gentlemen all in all what i feel is we as individual think that traditions have gone off but i think we still have that cult or we still maintain that balanced state that is why he has used sambhuta here bhuta means nothing it's not about that uh, devil or whatever it is bhuta here refers to that panchabhuta tatvas maintenance of that sama that equilibrium state of panchabhutas and very importantly if you see sariva daivada sariva daivada that's a very beautiful line in itself it's uh, it's again like you can define that you know you can have the definition there itself bhuvi samjata bhuvi bhuvi is bhumi understand this ladies and gentlemen samjata sama jata jata here again refers to jata veda that god that form or formless god and jati jati bheda over here here there is no jati bheda that is the, that is the reason why he had used samjata see understand the beauty of this language kavacham raksha kavacham why he had he had to use that line called raksha kavacham raksha means protecting kavacham means that shield that protective shield that means that form or formless god in the name of shiva shiva sambhuta bhuvi samjata bhiva uh, shiva sambhuta shiva who has created that panchabhutas the panchabhutas this bhuvi or bhumi having that samjata state so i feel this kantara has created that vibrations and this kind of understanding of the subject from the subjective point of view or the objective point of view towards the betterment of the human existence in itself is something which one has to take ladies and gentlemen thanks again to rishabh shetty sir for his 
phenomenal work and that beautiful work that he has given and this is the gift to the individuals not only for kannadigas even for telugu not only for tuluvas not only from the individuals from tulu not only from the individuals coming from karnataka not only individuals coming from hyderabad uh, andhra telugu state not only individuals coming from north northeast north south wherever you take this is the universal song or the universal movie which again unites whole of the caste and creed and shows that oneness in a, as a sanatana dharma or sanatani understand this ladies and gentlemen thanks again to rishabh sir and i appreciate and i applaud i again thank you for giving this beautiful gift stay blessed have blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day